myself a little uh, pit kit too, so I can do some pit programming. I've uh, got the little test board with it. Now uh, I've gone through all of the programs that I can with this, and uh, I've noticed that on the board there are a place places where you can put jumpers, and in there you can just put a Stanley knife down the uh, the joint at the moment so uh, you can connect it up via this header instead and it's not going to go through these uh, there's also another one here that goes through this switch I'm going to put a jumper in there and also there's a power connection there which we're going to put a little socket in and that'll fit just in there so uh, apart from that uh, there's another six pins at the bottom of which I'm going to pull down to this side uh, because this doesn't do the full scope of the 20 pin chip it only uh, rises the 14 pins and uh, we're going to do that so we can uh, make it come straight out and into our prototype board and then uh, we can start making some proper circuits show you the board running before I uh, make the jumpers across here uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, just go over here and build a little project that I've got on it and program it in so it's programmed in there so uh, as I turn this dial it should count from 1 to 2 to both on for 3 and four, five, six, seven, eight, and so on. But so uh, what we want to do is uh, disconnect all of these so we can uh, output them straight onto our prototype board. So I've, uh, I've cut with a Stanley blade the little uh, tracks in between. You won't be able to see them on camera, I don't think. But uh, I'm going to solder that in on that one and then I've got another four here for the four LEDs so we can connect them or disconnect them and then another socket here which is to power the board uh, when we haven't got the uh, pick kit 2 plugged into it I'm going to solder them in now then so uh, I've soldered all those jumpers in place now if you can see and one for the power there look all I need to do is uh, get four jumpers, uh, put them on, and get a five volt source, and we should still be able to use the board. So I'm going to uh, test that out now. Right, so I've uh, put all the jumpers on there, and uh, if we dial this, you can see that it just goes up through, and if I was to pull one of these off, that particular light goes out because we've disconnected it so we know we can isolate that and just use the header that's great then I'll leave the uh, soldering of the other ones to the uh, second video and uh, thanks for watching